Evening all, Remarkers here, back again with another video, back again with another Oculus Quest and Oculus Go video. So in this video, we're going to be covering side loading. I know the world, the wise, the dog and their hamsters have all done tutorials on how to set up side loading on your devices, but I'm going to put my take on it anyway. Uh, I think I've got kind of a simple way of doing it. And what I'm going to do is show you how to do it, uh, explain what it is and why you should do it. And also sort of where you can get the games, apps and experiences from to actually side load to your headset. So what is side loading? Why should you bother? Well, at the core of the Oculus Quest and the Oculus Go is an Android system. So very much like an Android phone, it runs on the same operating system and the programs on there are called APK files. So that's what contains the actual sort of app and experience. Now, side loading is meant to be for developers of these experiences and apps to be able to kind of create them on their PC, their Mac, whatever, get to a good state. When they're happy, they can then side load onto these headsets or directly so they can test them out make sure they're okay and then kind of go from there tweaking and changing them but we can set ourselves up as developers and also kind of sideload our own APK so for example we can download pretty much any Android mobile phone app and try it on your Oculus Quest. Now, that doesn't guarantee that it'll work. Some work better than others, but it's fun and interesting to try. And when they do work, it adds so much functionality to your headset. So it's, it's worth kind of persevering. So if you use an app a lot on your phone, give it a go on the Oculus Quest or the Go and see how it works. So let's jump over to my PC and I'll show you how to set up side loading for your Oculus Quest and your Oculus Go and it's kind of interchangeable. So once you set it up for one, it'd be ready for both. So the program we're gonna to use to side load our apps to our Oculus Quest or Oculus Go is one called SideQuest. And it works really well. It's still quite new and there's some bugs and some issues and there, but they're actively developing it and making it better, which is great to see. And it does really make the process a whole lot simpler. So you can kind of scroll down you can kind of see more about it. You can see that it works on Windows, Mac, and Linux. So that's nice. It makes it nice and straightforward for that. Um, it makes the process of kind of setting it all up and you don't have to kind of type in loads of commands and stuff. So you, you'll, if you've done any side loading before, you have to type in ADB devices and your command line and all that rubbish. You don't have to do that with this. This makes that all sort of super easy, puts a nice front end on it, makes it kind of cool. So all we need to do is scroll up to the top here, click on releases here in the center. That takes us to the latest release. So always grab the latest version that's on here. You can sort of see here, we've got the Linux, the Mac, and the Windows version. I'm gonna download the Windows version and put that on my desktop. We'll let that download, it's a little EXE file. So this is the program that you have to install on your PC, Mac, or Linux. And the process is pretty much identical depending on which sort of uh, operating system you use. Once you've downloaded it, it will be on your desktop. Just double click it to open it. Uh, do you want to protect your windows? We'll click more information and run anyway. I trust it for now. <laughs> Hopefully there's nothing dodgy in there, but I'm sure it's fine. Uh, give it a little second to kind of unpack. Once that's done, you'll then have a folder on your desktop called SideQuest. And in here, what you want to run is the SideQuest application file, which is kind of down here. It's literally called SideQuest. Double click that, that'll open. And then this will give you the uh, program it will set up already so we can close that folder now here is the side quest application so what you need to do first is click on setup on the bottom left hand corner step one is you saying to oculus that you want to be a developer and you want to be able to side load applications to your oculus devices so i've got a video separately on this which i did for the oculus go it's pretty straightforward you click this link here you log in with your account you create an organization it can be called anything and then you click submit and you're done. It's nice and straightforward. Step two, you just need to download some drivers that enables your PC and your Oculus Quest or Go to talk to each other in this kind of special way. Uh, so all you do is just click this link here. Uh, it'll open up, just click download, download those to your desktop and double click them to install them. Nice and straightforward. Step three, we now need to enable developer mode. So now Oculus sees you as the developer. You should be able to log into your Oculus app, just like you got here, click settings, Click on your Oculus Go or your Oculus Quest, that'll give you a drop down menu, and then click more settings. In there, you'll get developer mode, and all you do is just click enable, 
that turns on to developer mode, that opens up a connection in your Oculus Go and your Oculus Quest to enable side loading to happen. Step four is to connect your Oculus Quest or Oculus Go to your PC via a wire. So you can use the wires that come with the headsets with the Oculus Quest if you don't have a USB-C port on your PC. You'll need to get an adapter, um, USB-C to USB-A maybe. Um, I use these magnetic cables. I've got a video on these previously when I've gone through loads of accessories. Literally kind of tap that onto the side of my headset and it automatically connects with magnets. The USB-A is already plugged into my PC. It makes it nice and straightforward. When you do connect it, you'll see this uh, allow USB debugging message inside your headset. So you'll need to sort of put your headset on get your controller, click the always allow button and click OK. And then it should show up. And I've already done this. So my headset when it connects automatically comes up with the folders. And now you can just sort of drag and drop files straight into your headset. But that's not how you add the, the actual games or apps or experiences on this. You have to do it a slightly different way. But if you wanted to kind of access your files and folders, you can do this. You can jump into your Oculus folder to get your video shots, which is kind of your recordings that you do within your headset, within the sharing menu, um, and your photos and all that sort of stuff. So if you want to drag and drop stuff back and forth, you can do. One tip is, though, if you just want to transfer files back and forth, you're still going to need to open SideQuest to make the connection work between your headset and PC. Now, you don't need to do that if you don't enable developer mode. This is only for the people that do enable developer mode. If you didn't have developer mode enabled, all you do is accept the message inside your headset each time, and it pops up as a drive. But because we do have it enabled, it's popped up as a thing as soon as we've opened SideQuest, which we already had open, so it made it nice and straightforward. Once that's all sorted, you can see in the top right -hand corner, we've got connected with a green dot. That means it's all working, set up, and ready to go. So to install our first app is stage five and all you just need to do is click install app launcher give it a second and what that then does is side loads whoo here we go an app to your oculus quest that app launcher just makes it easier to find your apps and experiences because not all of them appear in obvious places if you've got this installed it makes it a lot easier and then a quick shout out here to install your first app it says the expanse the expanse is made by the same people who actually make this program and it's a very sort of cool vr building tool so it's worth actually downloading and installing that yourself if you fancy it so what we now can do is on the left hand side we can install some apps so you can sort of see we've got V-Ridge and ALVR. So those are the ones that allow you to play PC VR games on your Oculus Quest and your Oculus Go. Uh, just bear in mind that the controls aren't perfect yet, but if you've got a PC powerful enough to do it, give it a go. It is a lot of fun. You've also got some games, so the Expanse, Alt Space VR. If you install that, that's pretty cool. That actually gives you six degrees of freedom with Alt Space VR. So it's still like the Oculus Go version, but you get two controllers, two hands. It actually is pretty cool. I'm actually quite surprised uh, how well that worked. Uh, we've got a not suitable for work section, and then we've got some Android apps. So these are just ones they've kind of brought together to kind of think that you might want them, kind of the most popular ones sort of thing. So you can sideload the actual sort of normal YouTube app if you want to. Twitch, Kodi, that's quite handy. Uh, that's one worth downloading. And all you need to do to install any of these is just click on more then click on install and there we go we've got an app installed Cody is now on our oculus quest so now in our oculus quest well let's just reset that it's a bit high uh, we should now be able to go down to library and anything that you install will either be in unknown sources on the left hand side or in oculus tv but what i would suggest you do is you click on unknown sources have a little browse, see what's here, if there's anything you kind of fancy, you want to boot up, so you can see I've got a few in here. But you also have SideQuest uh, installed, so this is the app launcher. So this takes you into Oculus TV and then gives you options for doing some other stuff. So you can jump in, you can click on apps. Uh, what I would suggest you probably do actually is click on settings, scroll down a little bit and always make sure this show systems app option is selected because there are some apps that don't show if you've got that deselected. So you can jump in here, you can find any of the ones we've installed. What did we install? I've installed Twitch, for example. So I can click on that and it'll boot it up. Now, some things will play in Oculus TV like this. Some things will play as VR experiences, depending on what they are. So it's worth kind of playing around and seeing what you want to do. And if you've installed anything and you want to get rid of it, all you do is click this little three hamburger thing at the top here and it gives you all the installed apps on your device and you can literally just kind of scroll through whatever you don't want, click uninstall and it'll be gone. And down the bottom left hand corner as well, we have what's called repos, so repositories 
for groups of apps. So if they become available in the future, I'll put some links down below to them. But that's essentially somebody kind of hosting a bunch of apps and experiences or whatever, and you can download them and then they appear as a kind of point on the side here. So the final thing we need to figure out is how do we get APK files to be able to side load them? So we've obviously know that we can download the ones that are actually built into SideQuest, but we can try any ones we fancy. So I would go to apkmirror.com and search for ones that you want here. So you can tap them in there, search them, find the latest version that you want and download the MPKs. The other alternative is to download them off your phone. So if you've got an Android device, you can download APK Extractor on the Google Play Store. You can open it and then it'll find all the different apps that you've got on your phone and you can just kind of scroll through them, find one that you want uh, and that you think would work or you can make good use of and just tap on it and then it'll save the file to your phone. Then all you need to do is drag to the APK files from the extracted APK folder on your phone to your PC and then in SideQuest, all you then need to do in any of those things you've downloaded. So for example, I've downloaded the Steam Link app and I want to install that. I'm going to drag that into the main sort of field here. That's going to think about it. That's going to install the APK. Now it's installed. Now what I should be able to do is wirelessly play 2D Steam games on my Oculus Quest. I can even install this Vortex app. Let's drag that in. That enables me to play cloud gaming. So I don't know if you've ever used Vortex. It's one of those cloud gaming services. So you don't even need a PC yourself. Uh, it's only like $10 a month. You can access a PC in the cloud and play full on PC games without a PC yourself. Whereas Steam Link, you need a PC uh, and it needs to be on. Whereas Vortex is always on. You just dial into it whenever you need it and play whatever you want. Once you've done all that faffing around and messing around, it will become easier. It maybe seems a little bit complicated, a lot of information to take in. But going forward, all you need to do is connect your headset to your PC load up SideQuest and then just drag and drop whatever APK files you want in there. If they add new ones, you can just click on them to install them. And there you go. Now you've got an endless supply of content that you can try. So by all means, download 2D Classic Angry Birds and give it a go on your headset. Let me know what you do try. Let me know what works. Let me know what doesn't. Because as I say, not everything works. You're going to have to kind of try it. Uh, I'll try to leave some links down below to some things that maybe have worked for other people, some useful threads and information that you can kind of browse through. And I even use this method to do a few other things, which I'll cover in some other videos in the future. But for me, it adds so much functionality to your VR headset that it's almost crazy not to give it a go and I appreciate some of you guys don't want to try it you're happy with what you got that's fine make sure you let me know in the comments down below if you've got any questions at all about this process if something doesn't work let me know if you've got any issues with side quest make sure you let the devs know there's a little sort of uh, bug button at the top you can click on to get some help but I'm super active in my comments down below and I will help you guys as much as I possibly can if you found this video useful give it a thumbs up if not give it a thumbs down that's fine I'm big enough and ugly enough to take it but do let me know in the comments down below why you didn't like it I'll try and do better for next time become one of the remarkables hit that subscribe button and that note notification bell to be notified when I next upload a video and that's me done I'm out have a virtual high five